Hello beautiful souls and welcome back. In today's tarot and oracle reading, we will be doing a prediction for the month of October for the zodiac sign of Libra. This can be your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising, however it happens to fall in your chart. Today we'll be using the spellcasting oracle as well as the wildwood tarot for clarifiers. While I'm shuffling, I do want to let you know that, as always, I will be having a giveaway with this month's reading. We're just going to take the top card. Uh, the giveaway will be for a free reading with myself. To enter the giveaway, you just need to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave me a comment down below in the comment section. The winner will be drawn at random from the comment section. You can enter to win more than one time because we all have multiple zodiac signs. The winner will be selected across all of the zodiac readings, so you have 12 chances to win to sorry, you have 12. So you have 12 chances to enter to win a free tarot and oracle reading. So your card, Libra, today is the card of inspiration. And I absolutely love the imagery on this card. Inspiration comes from within. It is in spirit. So often we seek motivation and we seek acknowledgement from outside sources in order to push us forward on a journey. But I love how all of this energy it's coming right from, right from this person, right from their core. It's dark on the outside because what's out here shouldn't matter. We need to look within to find the inspiration to move forward. So I feel this month Libra is really going to be about looking within and finding that inspiration within yourself, not relying on other people, whether it's for peer pressure or for external sources of motivation. Not this month, it's time to look within. It's time to find your power, your own source of motivation. It's time to connect with your why. When you can understand why you want to do something, it's a lot easier to find the inspiration to go after it. When you're lacking inspiration, it's often because you don't know why you want to do something. And a lot of the times it's externally motivating, right? Interesting. We have the two of bows, decisions. But look at the color significance here. The individual with the passion the fire, the flames, just radiating from themselves. It starts within, and then it starts to take, take over almost. You know, he's, he's not on fire in a painful way. He's on fire in a passionate, um, inspired, like, take charge, I'm ready to go action kind of way, Right? It's like when you just know someone so passionate that you can see that fire burning within them. And it's, again, it's interesting, the symbolism of the fire really encapsulating the form and then this dark background. So I feel like <laughs> this month, Libra, again, I don't need to tell you much more. I don't even feel the need to draw more cards because the two cards, the two decks, have told you the exact same thing. It is time to look within. It's not time to look to other people. Sure, you can look to other people for guidance, for knowledge, um, for mentorship, but ultimately, what is going to allow you to reach your dreams, whatever they happen to be, needs to come from within. And you have to stop blaming other people 
for you not being able to tap into that fire. It's the decisions that you make, right? Two of both decisions. It's the decisions that you make which change your life. And it's how you react and respond to situations that makes your life the way that it is. Now, I'm not downplaying the fact that shitty things happen, okay? We're talking purely based on a motivational, you taking action or you not taking action kind of thing. We're not talking about if someone comes into your life and disrupts the balance. We're talking about, do you get up in the morning and do you take charge? Do you take action? Do you do what you know you need to do in order to reach your dreams? Or do you allow yourself to be distracted? Do you allow yourself to push things aside? Do you allow yourself to procrastinate? Again, these are decisions that you choose to make. And a lot of the times you, we, you, me, we, we get those voices in our heads that tell us that the decisions that we've made are wrong. But by whose standards are those decisions wrong? In the moment, I'm sure the decisions that you have made throughout your life were the decisions that you had to make. We all learn and we grow and we evolve as human beings as we go through this journey. That's what makes us so special and so powerful at the exact same time. If we didn't learn, we didn't grow, and we didn't evolve, then we wouldn't change. We wouldn't seek to be better. This is about progress. It's not about perfection. It's not about being the best. It's about progress and owning your decisions, owning the reasons why you want to do something, tapping into that inspiration so that you can live the best life in the moment now. In the future, you'll learn new things. In the future, your ideas might change, and that's okay. Inspiration in the moment will lead you to a satisfying and lovely human experience. So I hope you enjoyed this tarot and oracle reading. If you did and you want to win a free reading with me, don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Because if you don't comment down below, I won't be able to enter your name into the draw. Love, light, and happiness to all of you. Have a fantastic day. Bye.